Manus is probably the most aggressive boss in the entire game, and it takes a lot of patience and stamina in order to succeed here. The first thing to take notice of is his giant left arm, which hits like a truck and is hard to miss. Most enemies in the game hold their weapon in their right hand, making circling to their right the correct course of action. Manus does as well, however most of his attacks will actually come with his giant left arm. For this reason, circling left is actually preferred, as it'll help you avoid that arm. For this fight, you're going to need a lot of stamina, and I mean a lot of stamina. You're going to want a shield with excellent stability, you'll want the Chloranthi Ring, and you'll want grass if you can afford it. So the strategy here is get in close, move to his left, bait his attacks, and then punish him. Periodically, he'll puff up his chest and yell upward, giving you an indication that he's about to do a 5-hit combo, so what you want to do is hold up your shield and back away as quickly as you can. You're going to do this every time he does this yell, and it affords a good opportunity to heal if you need to. Sometimes when you're behind him, you'll start to see this light blue mist form on the left side. This means he's about to spin around and attack you, so put your shield up. When he jumps into the air, hold up your shield and block, and immediately click right stick after he lands in order to retarget him, as you'll lose targeting. If you don't have enough stamina, his attack will go through your shield, dealing considerable damage, and sometimes he does this attack back to back, so it's paramount that you have a shield with good stability in order to take these hits. When he lands, it's a good opportunity to strike his head once or twice. Once he gets to around 60%, the fun really begins as he starts to mix in spells into his repertoire. The easiest way to deal with these is to use the silver pendant that you can find in Ulysseal Township behind a hidden wall and keep it on your hotbar. As soon as you see his hands glow like that, use the silver pendant as quickly as you can in order to protect yourself. I like to mash it twice just to be safe, but you can use it once if you'd like.
Note that his projectiles spell that shoot out straight in front of him cast much faster than these other two, so I like to keep my thumb on the square button so I can just press it the second I see it and don't have to locate the button. Since I usually don't heal until he does his 5 hit combo anyway, it's good practice to leave the silver pendant on your bar, that way you can get to it as quick as possible and you're not fumbling. Note that after doing one of these spells he generally jumps up in the air or does an uppercut, so you'll want to have your shield up and be ready for that. From here out it's just rinse and repeat. Note that if you saved Sif in the Abyss you can actually summon him for this fight. Thank you.